Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. You can subscribe to my channel if you're interested in reseller related content, primarily hauls because your girl loves to shop. So today is part two of a giant Goodwill haul. So if you haven't seen part one, I'll link it up there. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I have, I always go to the same Goodwill and then my husband's always like, why don't you just go to some of the other ones around? There's so many and we like, there's a lot of upscale areas around us. So I was like, okay, maybe I should. I did. And man, I'm like kicking myself for not going sooner to these different locations because I found a lot, a lot of really great stuff. Some of it I showed in my haul before this. So um, this is a Michael Stars one size. The original T is what it's called. I'm not real sure. So it's like this cow neck, oversized, striped, and then it has like a sweater sleeve, but like a t-shirt feel. So I'm not sure really about anything with that. I just know it's Michael Stars and sometimes that sold at Anthro. I do not know if this brand was, but I do, I have a style number and I will look. Next, this is a bad buy. It was Lulu, so I grabbed it. What an idiot. Lululemon, 31 inch. So these are what, not the Wonder Unders, but the, you know, the other ones. <laughs> yeah, those, size four. They're in really good shape. I mean, minimal pilling. I seen them, I was like, yay. And I could tell, you know, they were full length, super long black what a great color and then when I was inspecting that was a hole that they had repaired and it was a giant hole so I don't know I'm still gonna put them up for like $15 maybe 20 I don't know they're in really good shape apart from a repaired hole so I don't know then a couple seconds later I found these Lululemon and these are Wonder Unders. They are full length pants. And they're the white on white and black herringbone. Ooh. It's killing me because they're my size and I, I wanna keep them. I don't wanna sell them. They're in fantastic condition. It's that really beautiful herringbone, really light. It's like a gray, black, white mixed print. And they have the black inside. These are big though. They, I mean, I wear like a 10, sometimes an eight I can, just depends. Uh, these are a 12, but I'm like, well, what if I gain even more pounds? Oh my God, I hope not. But anyways, they're such a good size. Comps are like 60, 70 bucks on these. And, and, and that's in a size 10. So a 12 would probably do really well and they're in good shape. So I'm gonna list them, even though I wanna keep them. Okay, next, I hope Laura is watching this video because these are such good jeans. They're not anything special, but they are so vintage. They're called Stuffed Shirt, 100% cotton. I don't even know, you guys are made in the USA. Wait till you see. This is where paper bag came from. So, oh my gosh, they're so good. They are so super 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 duper high rise i'm talking holy cow that's huge like that is long that is way high um there are seven eight they look like they're like a four would be my guess seven eight is what they're listed as so they're acid washed and they have this same exact floral roll cuff as they do in the paper bag pockets on the butt oh my gosh these are like kelly kapowski aren't they Jessica Spano, my daughter was like, mom, I'm wearing those with a red tube top. I go, I, 
And those might not fit. They're so little. I'll have to put measurements in, but my gosh, I was so excited when I found those. So excited. Okay, next is this Madden Girl. Nothing spectacular, but this cute backpack. Madden Girl, Steve Madden. Like an iCat print, blue with the brown. Pretty decent shape. There might be, I don't know if there's any. No, no stains. Looks good. Cute inside. Little pocket there. Madden Girl. Cute. Next, I don't know if you've watched my Instagram or follow my Instagram, but I'm Racks to Riches Resale over there. Um, it's linked in my link tree down below. But this is the first time I've ever found a Missoni. And I posted this label like, is this vintage? Is this newer? And my research tells me that this is a label. So it's not in Missoni, it's just Missoni, made in Italy with the little orange M. This is a woman's hooded, bright color, crazy. <laughs> is that an M? I have no idea. Just this crazy striped hoodie with the rib cuff sleeves and the front pockets and... Yeah, Lampo, made in Italy. It's legit. This is real. <laughs> and it's a USA size 8. 80% wool, 14% acrylic. I was so excited to find Missoni. <laughs> Yay! But, you want to know what's even funnier? I was 10 times more excited when I found this. I'm like, oh, I'm Missoni. I never sold it. Not too familiar, but as soon as I seen this, I was like, yes, there's 60 bucks. Barefoot Dreams. It's the Ombre, what's it called? Barefoot Dreams, Bamboo Chic Light, small, medium, small slash medium. It's the Ombre Cardigan. Cream, gray, the softest baby butter feel you'll ever feel. These do so good on Poshmark. Yep. So, I don't know what it's made of. Nylon and rayon. So soft, such good shape. Easy $60. That's why I was so excited for it because I know that will sell. Quick. The Masoni, I'm like, where, what platform should I list this on? Okay, next. This is really cute. J. Crew, size four. It's just a blazer, but it's like a, like a denim one. Got that denim chambray look to it. Cute blazer, pockets in the inside. It has a style. So I'll look it up. Is it cotton? Yep, 100% cotton. So yeah, just a fitted little size four. Classic J. Crew blazer in excellent condition so that's exciting okay next now in this haul in this part two um you'll see a couple pieces that i tie-dyed me and my daughter went to goodwill for the sole purpose of finding stuff that we could tie-dye she wanted to have a mom daughter day of tie-dyeing so we did that and i took a lot of risk but i think they did pretty good so i'll show you i tie-dyed free people and anthro like, but they had stains, so I was like, oh, I could, I could do this, you know. It's okay if it, if it, if I ruin it. Okay, this is a sleeping on, no, just kidding. This is Angel of the North. It is a, like, oatmeal. An oatmeal sweater with this lace, asymmetrical lace all over. But the problem is is these lights are driving me nuts. There's some, e I've washed it twice and there is some yellowing in some, I don't know what someone did to it, but sometimes you can see like yellow spots. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but 
I'm still gonna list it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sweater. Not really. I bought it knowing it had the stains. They were really bad. I got the most of them out, but I just can't get it. I, I can't keep washing it. So I'll sell it as is for less. This is Rag and Bone, handmade in New York, size extra large. That's great. It's a ribbed dress. It's a ribbed basic dress or tunic and it has pockets. Oh, a kangaroo pocket. It goes all the way across. That's cute. I should keep this, but no, I won't because it will sell. So rag and bone, cute. Okay, here's one of the pieces that I tie dyed. So this is Intimately Free People. It was cream to begin with and it's a extra small. It was cream, it had some dingy spots. I thought, well, instead of washing it, I'm gonna tie dye it, because it's a great color. Boom. Didn't that turn out so good? I know, it looks like something they would sell. I mean, it is something they would sell, but I wish you could see it a little bit better. Those ring lights are, it's crazy. But it has like, I'm gonna turn this down, hold on. Okay. Now you can see it better. It has these ruffle, crazy raw hem areas all over it from where it, you know, bells out on the side. So it's like tattered handkerchief style. I did so good. I'm throwing these lights back up now so I look a hot mess. Okay, so I was excited about that. I was super excited about that one. It turned out really good. This was another one I found. It's by Dolce. Now, I did not find this this good haul. It was a long time ago. I've had it sitting in my death pile and it was white and I could not get a good picture showing all the crochet in French. So I decided to dye it. So I thought this would be really cute like for a little beach tea cover up over your bikini. It's not long, it's a short one with fringe. But now I feel excited about listing it. <laughs> this is an American rag, just a, it was a plain black shirt. I'm so proud of the way this came out. I can't wait to list all this stuff. It's just been sitting in these bags so I could do this haul that I have been procrastinating to do. Um, so this was a black, all black American rag t-shirt, v-neck, uh, large, extra large. So I think it's in men's. I had picked it up at Goodwill a long time ago, but didn't it come out cool? I literally let this, I wrapped it all up with the little rubber bands and I let it sit in the bleach overnight. It completely took all the color out of the shirt and made it turn gray besides the areas that I had squinched. Isn't that, I mean, I'm so proud of this shirt. It's insane. It's such a good reverse dye. I'm so proud. <laughs> There's more in here that I tie dyed, but we're moving on to something else now. So this is Dolan, Left Close, Left Close Collection. Welcome to Tuesday. <laughs> That's for you, Danielle and Lori <laughs> and Jack and Ryan. Uh, extra small. Dolan Left East Left Coast Collection. I know this is sometimes sold at Anthro. I'm not 100% if this was. It has this really cute chiffon long part of it. <laughs> and then it's like this embroidered design. Super soft. It's in excellent, perfect condition. Can you tell that that's like an orange and blue pattern? Cute. I promise I'm going to get these lights figured out. And next time I'll probably sit in front of my black and white striped wall. But I, it's just too many bags. I was surrounded by too many bags. So I'm on the floor, guys. Sorry. This was a good pickup. This is an Athleta. I don't know what their style is, but I'm going to find it. But this is like fur lined or Sherpa lined. Size medium, oh my gosh, it's so soft. So it's so like velour lined, the whole sweater. 
So it's a hoodie. Kangaroo pocket. So it's an athleta hoodie, but it's got the, um, it's completely lined inside. Is it reversible? No. No, it's not. But it's fantastic. I do know that. That's a, probably an easy $45. Hopefully. Okay, next is this. I love Goodwill, you guys. I am, I get such a rush <laughs> from going. And then I want to show you guys so bad. And I get so distracted by my life um, that I just let all of this money sit here in bags instead of listing it and getting it ready for pictures and hauling it. Like, what? I got to get it together. I really have got to get it together. This is a Jack by BB Dakota, extra small. Little crochet moment here across the front. And then it has that not so trending cold shoulder sleeve, but this is cute. So I know it'll do good. I, I think it's linen, but the, someone took the tag away. So I can't, it's a really nice fabric. I, I bet it's linen would be my guess, but I can't prove it. So I can't ride it in there. Okay, next is this. What is this? I don't know. This is something anthropology. Yep, it is. This is Saturday, Sunday. This is size small, Saturday, Sunday. So it's like a little cow neck, marled. Oh God, it's tall. Um, I think it's a tunic It's or a, or a dress. I'll find the style and put it up. But it's like a marl burgundy, and then it ha at the bottom it has this crochet, but the back is where the true moment is. Huge crochet medallion. Back. I think it's a dress. But it could be a tunic because it has pockets. Fake pockets. <laughs> is that it? Okay. Keep going. This is so cute. It's American Eagles again, but man, they had the cutest little sweaters. So it's like a boxy cropped, fantastic balloon sleeve, like that chenille feeling material. You can tell by looking really soft and squishy. Say small. I love American Eagle. Like picking up their stuff. It sells so good. Not for a lot of money, but it it moves. This is a J Crew size medium. It's just a hoodie, really thin hoodie gray, plain. It's just a basic black label J Crew fitted pullover. It doesn't even have real pockets. So, okay. Then I got this. We were going to reverse dye this, but we decided not to. So I'm just going to sell it. Anvil, the American tee, extra large. It's just a Toby Keith concert t-shirt with the American flag. Never apologize for being patriotic. I don't know how that will do, considering all the things that are happening. But, I don't know. We didn't dye it. We got exhausted because we died. These! <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> these are a vintage, so vintage, you guys. Pair of Lees. They are women Lees. Lee jeans. Hold on, let me find the tag. Made in USA, 100% cotton, size 10 petite. And it has all, wait, what's the year? Does it have a year? No. I don't know, no year, but a whole bunch of numbers in this weird tag. They are high rise, size 10 petite. These were destroyed. Um, they had a lot of stains, yellowing. They were not cute. Um but they were vintage, so I picked them up. And now, they are so cute. Now you can't even tell all the things they used to have. So super high rise, like, woo, look at that. Um, I'll do measurements for accuracy since it does say 10 petite. So I do know they're women, so they're women's fit. The back, I did kind of get it on that tag, but very vintage. I thought that these turned out really cute. And then I thought I should make them into shorts. But then I was like, well, maybe someone will want them as jeans. And the color goes all the way down. They're crazy. 
They're wild and crazy, but somebody will love them. And I'm going to price them all expensive and see what happens. Custom. Custom by me. I also tie-dyed this hoodie. It was my kids. So Levi's kind of like cropped hoodie. It's missing the string, the drawstrings for the hood, but it doesn't really matter. I figured someone would cut it even, even more than it already is. I might even cut it before I list it, like cut it right across the, where that band is. But yeah, just a cute little Levi's. It was white with the Levi's logo. It was white for one day. She wore it, then it was stained. So Next is this We The Free. It's, this was just, it's a size small. This was plain. And it was just plain, burnt, like this plain rose colored. I dip dyed it. Like I dip dyed the cuffs and everything with black. And so now it looks like this. And then I did this to the cuffs and made them have black on them. So that's the front. So it's like, a, you know, one of those burnout, high-low, Henleys, super thin, gauzy material. That's the back. So, yes, I did this. And the only problem is, is when I, I don't know, the dye kind of puts, made some spots are like, you could see like yellow. See that? Right? there. There's a few like yellow orangey spots. So I don't know if it was like mixing of the colors or what, but the shirt was not in the greatest shape. It looked really worn. And I said, well, maybe I can make it look cute again. I tried. I think it turned out pretty cute. We're at 23. Okay. Okay. I might fit just finish. This is an Urban Outfitters. It's like a leopard print. High low, long sleeve, tunic blouse in size extra small. This is not a Burberry, but doesn't it look like one? It's that Novacek cute pattern. It's just a tunic, has these tie fun sleeves. Someone just ripped off their pattern. It's Lil D split sleeve plaid tunic, size large, extra large. It's like polyester. It's just cute. I like, I love that print. I thought it was real Burberry when I seen it though. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger. This is brand new. So I picked it up. It's just a blue and white stripe with, it says Hilfiger in red. So it matches for the 4th of July season. This is another Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know what my deal was that day, but I just kept picking it up for some reason. This is a cute dress. It's, it's brand new. I don't think it's ever been worn or washed. So it's like a pink and gray striped dress with that really cute pocket and that H emblem on there. Just a cute t-shirt dress, size extra small. Someone's coming down these stairs. Next is American Eagle, size medium, little lace boho crochet. fun sleeves, and then it buttons up the back with the big openings. Oh my gosh, such a cute shirt. I wish my kid would dress like a bohemian. <laughs> she does not like it, but I love it. Okay, next is, okay, Victoria Beckham for Target. But it's still such a cute shirt. It's brand new with tag. So I got it. Again with the mod floral like in my first video. That Mary Mecco Target one. So Victoria Beckham scalloped at the bottom. Scalloped at the sleeves. Really cute mod floral blouse. Perfect for right now. And it's new with tag. 20 bucks. Okay, next I picked up these Patricia, 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 I don't know, by Spring Step. There's a really cute little wedge heel, but they're a sandal. I got the little leather 
floral design here. Really cute, perfect condition. Grabbed them. Next, I got these really cute Dolce Vita, not DV, but the real Dolce Vita. Hold on, let me zip them up. They're like a, a boot sandal. So this is the front of them. And that has that little cuff thing here. I don't know if you would fold that over. It just goes high right there. Has these fun tassels off the side. Dual side zipped. Suede. And then that's the real Dolce Vita, not DV. And they are size, size six. I've been out of the weather, so if I'm not my usual really fun self, that's why. And that's also why I look like I've been hit by a truck. <laughs> Just being honest. Okay, should I wrap it up? 27 minutes. No, we'll just keep going. We're going to keep going. Next, another, oh, these are Franco Sardo. Boots, suede, little harness detail here, harness buckle. These are in perfect condition, like no one wore these. And they are the Logic Boot, size seven and a half. I had the hiccups. Those are my size. Whew. I have to get a lot of use the next today, so I'm exhausted. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just turned the whole freaking situation, didn't I? Okay, got it. We back in action? You guys. What the heck? Um, have you ever seen anything as strange? So these were staring at me from across the room at Goodwill. They're up on the rack and I'm like, oh, those are probably just some like flimsy, cheap little shoe from Wish. And I was like, oh, maybe I should just go check it out, right? Um, Cause it could be something like Giuseppe Gennati, like what's her face found? That's not how you say it, but whatever. Um, like Lori just found, just like a, it's a wild shoe and you know, weird cells. So I was like, hmm, I'll just go check. So I went over and I grabbed off the shelf and I almost dropped it because it's so heavy. And I was like, oh my God, this is so heavy. This has to be real leather. Well, it is, You're, it is. It is 100% real leather in metal upper. Like these are real metal studs. Spikes. Holy freaking cow. So I Googled. I could not, like, it's called Lust for Life. They're like brand new, okay? These have never been worn, ever. I Googled red leather studded boot and they came up $300. Two have sold, there's only one, I think, available on Poshmark and it's listed for $150. And all the sizes, on their website are sold out. So they sold for $100, $150 on Poshmark, retail at $300. I guess there's a following for this. I'm not sure. It's wild, but it is so much fun. And I'm going to listen for $150 and see what happens. I'll be fine with $75. Shoot, I'd be fine with $50 because I paid five, you know, like $449 average cost of goods. But there's none, like none available, especially in a seven and a half. I think that's the size seven and a half, right? Like I, I found like the perfect size in these because they had a 10 and an 11 is what was listed. Everything else was sold out. So anyways, that's exciting, right? Okay. Eileen Fisher, say small. This is my first time ever finding Eileen Fisher. I'm not disappointed. It's a purple tunic. It's a hundred percent silk. And you know, I just think it's a cuter piece. I think it's a cuter Eileen piece. So I got that. I was excited to find it. I've had it in a thread up box before, but never found it while I was out. This is a J. Crew little thermal striped shirt with the gold buttons. It's like that waffle knit 
Just a cute little shirt. This is a new tag, American Eagle. It's an off the shoulder, soft and sexy. Crop tee, floral print. It's got the tags there, the American Eagle tags. Size medium. This is an Aster, A-S-T-R, Aster, the label, whatever. It's an expensive brand. I do not know the um, style name of this, but it's like a cocoon. Size medium. 10% wool and acrylic. So it's like this gray and black knitted cocoon. cocoon sweater like dolman sleeve i mean that sleeve is way down there it's like a cocoon really oversized fun piece fun poncho piece i've got to find a stock photo for this though because that is going to be so hard to take a picture of but it's a good brand i've sold it before uh this is bomb 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 <laughs> bomb bomb made in the usa it's uh Made in the USA. This is cute knitted blue and white ruffle shirt. It's a really pretty like knit. You can tell it's knitted. Super cute. What size did I say that was? Small. It's new with tags. Not worth a lot, but it's cute, especially for summer. I'm adjusting myself again because I'm a hot mess. <sighs> okay. These are Express Columnist. Express Columnist pants. So cute. They're striped, black and white striped with the little black ribbing there at that pocket, in this pocket. So cute, these pants. They're brand new. They don't have the tag on them, but no one's ever worn these. I can tell you from experience. <laughs> Too regular. They're long, skinny, cute. I, those pants make me want to be skinny. You know, I just can't get skinny. I try, but I just can't do it. Okay. This is a new brand. Um, Linea Domani. I don't know who that is, but I looked it up in there and the they were, these tunics were selling for like 40 bucks on Poshmark. So I was like, sure. I think it was like two bucks. I think red was the tag that day. But it's just this like cow neck, long tunic. And it's a really cute print. I can't tell if it's like trying to be an animal print or or what, but it, it looked like it. So I picked it up. Anything with the, anything trying to be an animal print. <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Okay, this. If you watched my previous video, my previous part of my haul, you heard me mention that I'm gonna start going hard on Kittizen. So if I find anything super cute, I'm gonna sell stuff over there, primarily my kids' clothes. Oh, like my kids' clothes, not, you know what I mean. This is a Oh My Disney red little girl skirt, size small. Do you see the Minnie Mouse? Do you, wait, I can't find them. Do you see? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard because it's a stupid camera. Let me find one and then bring it up to you. There it is, see? So it's polka dots and Mickey Mouse heads all over it, so cute. On the kids train, I also picked up this American Girl Be Forever. I'm pretty sure this is Sage. Like the one that matches with Sage. The doll Sage from American Girl. My daughter had that and I'm pretty sure this is Sage or Julie. I don't know. It's one of those little, this is like really Aztec-y, Bohemian. I'm pretty sure it's Sage. But it's a little Be Forever cardigan. Extra small slash small American Girl. So I'm gonna put that on Kittizen. Lori, <laughs> can you tell me if that is Sage's cardigan? Leave it in the comments. 
Laura used to work at American Girl. She has a whole video about all of her dolls. Go watch it. Okay, cabbie, size small. It's a little sweater tunic, cute. This is cute, new tag cabbie. Little high-low moment. It's that like marled, knitted, black and cream, really cute. Oh, we're still going. We're still going. These are brand new tag, Boohoo. I listed a Boohoo leather, faux leather, vegan zip up moto jacket that I got for myself like three years ago. I listed it for 20 bucks thinking it's not even gonna sell, like, you know what I mean? It's not a good brand. It sold in less than a day for full asking. They didn't even offer me, they just bought it outright. I was like, okay, Boohoo. <laughs> so these are new a tag, Boohoo denim, denim for dreamers, limited edition, US size 10 bib, jean bib overalls, super destroyed, distressed, bib, overalls, size 10, great size, cute, so I bought them, we'll see, or I got them, <laughs> this, never picked it up before, Mark, New York, by Andrew Mark, size 4, just this slinky silver little cocktail dress, it's lined, it's silver, it has a little ruffle or cinch and it zips up the front. It has this really pretty contrasting blue lining. It's just a really cute dress. I thought this would be just really cute, obviously. <laughs> I don't know, I've never bought it before, so we'll see if it how it does. Danny and Nicole, I could pick this up because they mark this. Usually dresses are $6.99 in my Goodwill. Well, they marked it for $4.49. And this trip, I know it was green tag on sale. I remember because I was like, oh, this will only be $2, so it won't be a loss. So Danny and Nicole, plus size, 22W. Really cute dress. So this is black little, you can't see it all because I'm down here on the ground. So it's a black dress. Look at these fun sleeves. They're wild. So that design just carries down the sleeve and then it zips up in the back. Really nice, heavy knitted. It's black and like a either cream or baby pink. I can't tell these lights, I'm blind. So this is new a tag, BB Dakota, Olsen Sailor Blue. I'm pretty sure this is a dress, like a shirt dress because it is a size extra small and it's so long. It's definitely a dress. So it's like a little striped shirt dress. New a tag, BB Dakota. And this is an American Eagle sweater and it is an extra large and it is acrylic nylon. Elastane. I could have swore this had mohair in it. I'm wrong. Really cute color block. Very soft, slouchy sweater. My nose itches. There's dust everywhere. We're almost done. Okay, this is a Garnet Hill. Never found this brand before. Um, tag. You can't. These lights. It's out of control. So Garnet Hill. I'll put a stock photo up because I found it red and pink striped little summer dress. So cute with a little tie belt. That is a size eight. Comps look like 35-ish. Then I got this little steering, is it? Yeah, nope, pins and needles, size large. This one is the one who has rabbit hair, Angora. So nylon and Angora this cream whoa look at that it's a cream really soft cardigan with lace front from urban outfitters and then we have last is that it are we done oh thank god <laughs> is that all yes that's it yeah uh this is a 
we're going out with a bang here guys because i can't even show you what this is it is a the infinite collection by Haley star you ain't gonna be able to see that so this is a dress so it's short and it has these long things because you can wear it like a million different ways I'll put a picture up here of all the infinite ways you can wear it, but it has a, it's expensive and it has a good resale value, like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So it's a really great material. I bought it. So that's it. 42 minutes. Whew. I've been sitting on this floor for like three hours. My back is literally dead. I'm going to need an extreme muscle relaxer or a crane to get me up, up, up off the floor. George. <laughs> That's my husband's name. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like reseller related content, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get monetized in 2020 and I'm almost there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be safe. Oh God, I'm crawling, I'm crawling. Bye guys.